What's up guys, it's Stan Korsha and today we're doing beginner's first steps guide, like the very basic steps so you guys can progress better for uh, Cell Idol Factory Incremental, CP, the game by the ICEPS uh, developers, the Octocube games, and uh, you won't like it, <laughs> because the first advice I can give you that I'm, you know I never donate to the games, but if you wanna play this game, you gotta buy the pack, so it's essential uh, that you go to the diamond sh shop and buy starters pack. Otherwise, your progress will be like five times slower than mine. Uh, there is no other way. There is no other way. It will be at very slow speed without it. You will have to watch those ads to get the diamond chests. And uh, each ad will last for 30 seconds. Here, 30 seconds. Then you need those boosts. They are not essential, but they will be helpful. So, five times 30 seconds. That's already about five minutes of ads, whatever, per hour. It's not fun. So you will need to buy that pack. At least this one. I don't think that you need to buy other packs here. At least not yet. But uh, yeah, we will go with only this starter pack and go from here. Then when you purchase that pack, uh, you can get 5 million cells pretty easily by just clicking the boost, opening all the chests. And that will give you already a look at that. We are at 5 million already. But... In order to get here faster, if you are early into the game, let me show you what you need to do. First of all, get as many MK2 generators as possible. MK2 generators produce MK1 generators. So over time, as you can see, I manually purchased only 92 of MK1 generators, but MK2 generators produced 1.5k and that increased our income drastically. So that's a good idea. Maybe even getting, well, MK3 is after the prestige, I think. Alright, then for the fleet, for your cradle ship, you would like to print few crew members up to 2.75 million one, eight crew members, and get some upgrades here. Five of mitosis enchantments, the one, the basic one that gives you more gains. That's one of the multipliers that we will use. Um, over time, you will get the second ship. Here, you you get the basic stuff as well, but I recommend don't recommend buying the crew right now, early on, because if you want to prestige early, that will be a waste. Uh, instead, go to upgrade, tech upgrades when you get the second ship. And here, you want to invest a lot into um, MK1 software upgrade at the bottom here. You can see that it doubles our income just because it's it's really good. So before that, each purchase of MK1 generator increased our gain by a little bit. But now it gives us increased multiplier as you can see it's, it's worth to buy those MK1 things right now that will boost our income so much take a look at that it, it increased drastically so that's important moreover buying those generators will allow us to upgrade our ship over here so let's get additional bonus to mk1 gains bam easy now what else uh you also want to check your player level and here get all the stuff that you can get from the achievements get some upgrades here for lp upgrades we got 25 percent sell bonus already and that's really nice now more ads as you can see bam it's essential to get those you will need those tokens later on so click all that when you can and uh, now let's go to the token shop and um the diamond shop Early on, right now, when you just start, I advise you guys to spend all those on MK1 and MK2 gen boost. Those will be really better, really more useful here and like, yeah, it's nice. So you can use those tokens here that will give you crazy boost early on and focus on MK2 generators, not MK1 ones. Uh, after that, you might want to invest in the top ones. After some time, when you are confident with your income, you can work on token and diamond boost because you will be opening a lot of those chests and getting your income over time. Now let's go to the diamond store. Starters pack, obviously important thing. I haven't used those 1000 diamonds here, so this guide will work for uh, free-to-play players, fully free-to-play players as well. But after that, I'm not sure about it because we will have to do way more stuff. Um, you can get that alpha card here. When you purchase it, it's a good bonus. It will give your uh, MK1 and MK2 gens quite a good boost and it's not that expensive. Although you can get the better bonuses by spending those diamonds here in the generator upgrades. Bam, 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 bam. We spent maybe 500, but we are getting way higher bonuses already, right? So it's not essential. Uh, also, you might want to get those bonuses early on if you play it, uh, plan to play it for a long time because you will need those token boosts 
quite a lot and those ad tokens are important for you guys so yeah invest your diamonds here and uh, for free to play just put up mk1 mk2 gen boost that will help you to realize if you like the game or not before buying it honestly i don't like those advices of buying stuff but there is no other way over here so now we have 40 million cells let's see if we can get oh this is 500 million not 5 million all right <laughs> so we need to do more upgrades here let's get this guy then that will uh help us with those upgrades let's go to the tech upgrades here get some of those cell upgrades some of these upgrades some of those upgrades and uh probably that will help us well we're already getting about 1 million per tick here so it, it's good mm. can we get one more how many upgrades do we need let's get another crew member here those upgrades here for the crew members and this thing will boost our gains in the upgrade menu in the tech upgrades so that's essential that will help us to get those bonuses higher really really fast uh yeah, we can upgrade this ship now. So it will be 6% bonus right now for our upgrades over here. And that that will help us to gain more stuff. Now, since we get a lot of cells, let's get MK2 generators. Let's get, get MK1 generators. That will help us to get more gains and grow faster. And yeah. For now, we just wait a little bit. I think... Like, we need... 500 million cells for that new ship right so we gotta wait a little bit and see what we can do with the stuff that we already bought so by doing some upgrades here and there we managed to get 1.44 million cells per tick right now and they will grow because we will get more cells over time and um, how much time do we need for 5 million with that rate of income that's like 500 seconds 10 minutes so you can wait 10 minutes to get zeggers here and get this ship and use it to prestige and get the bonuses and start over so let's see what we else we can do to make it faster we can get more mk1 generators that will boost us i would advise to go for uh milestones on the ship upgrades here so for this ship you need to do what uh 10 11 more upgrades of generators and that will be costly we won't be able to afford that so there is no point going for that the gains here they are not that okay they're good we just got like 10 to 20 percent increase right here just for spending this so maybe it's not that bad and we also could upgrade the cradle that's weird let's get another upgrade on the improved timing belts that will give us more mk1 output but i think this will be 45 percent bonus this will be a... let's let's get mitosis enchantment instead so installing additional timing belt bam increased our income by a lot so this multiplier is separate from this multiplier they kind of multiply it one they, they don't sum up they're not additive they are multiplicative and uh, as you see right now our income grown so much so now we need way less time to get like 100 seconds or so to get to that uh moment and we will use those chests as well obviously and that will give us even more resources and uh yeah that also gives us way faster access to that new ship so let's wait and get it and see if we can do the prestige okay i'm an idiot my calculations were off because it's not per second it's per eight seconds so we gotta get even more of that all right i was like uh why are we getting sell so slowly because it's not per second it's per eight seconds so yeah uh we can do can we do this no let's do this one that will give us better boost as you can see right now those boosts that we are getting the upgrades they don't give us that much bonuses already because uh we got diminishing returns in all the upgrades the more you invest in one of the upgrades the less useful it becomes because it's the same multiplier that's growing so uh like first five that 500 percent something are good and after that it's like less effective so uh, keep it in mind when doing those upgrades everywhere should keep it in mind uh six million let's spend those here we got the additional achievement i was like no i don't want to do anything but i have to we got level up right here so let's do that we got some tokens here let's do that uh our income is about five million already though that's good i like it leaderboards do we have leaderboards we have leaderboards where am i on the leaderboards they don't show 
I am number 1700 something, so we are progressing, it's good. I wonder where we'll end up. I like the leaderboards in this game. I don't know why they haven't introduced it in the uh, ISEPs though. They wanted to make leaderboards there, but they are not there. I think the ISEPs won't be worked on anymore, sadly. So, we did some upgrades here and there. Now we're getting even more generators because we got seven of the MK2 ones. Uh, we can purchase some more let's get this one and let's get some more tech upgrades one here and can we get one more yeah we can get one more over here and that will give us uh additional level at this uh our uh, 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 ship and uh, we will get even better upgrade bonuses here with this upgrade so it will be like uh 12 percent that's good so let's get this all right, upgrade, tech upgrade here, bam, this, that will already give us extra stuff and bam, no, wait, bam, that was a good boost right here, so right now with 6 million per second, which is growing as well, we should be able to get to this new ship, no problem now, right, right, we can get those as well, look at that, crew member, 626 per tick, next tick will be, we'll buy this one, Bam, 727. Look how effective this is, guys. That was like 30%, 20%. I don't know. Good upgrade right here. And uh, yeah, now for sure we wait. We should be able to get to that goal. No problem. Pretty fast for the new ship. This one. Let's wait and see if we can do the reset and if it will be worth it. And guys, there we go. We got access to the Zaegers. Uh, after 20 minutes of this video and overall about an hour from starting the game that was pretty fast if you ask me although my bit of advice if you want to play long term don't rush the prestige because it won't give you that crazy bonuses early on you want to maximize your income so if you want to play long term invest in more of those upgrades here mk2 generators all that stuff before getting this because we will get this right now right and uh how do we do the prestige now wait upgrade the ship and there we go we go to the upgrade menu loop modifiers and here we can do the reset and we will get only one loop one loop will give us what what it will give us it will give us a 50 percent increase of sales gain per tick as well as a reduction of 20 ticks needed per tick loop huh anyway that won't be that crazy crazy modifier and uh, it's better to get like maybe two of those before you do the upgrade so in order to get more of those points mm, you will need either more cells or more ticks ah ticks per loop there we go it's right here so requirement is 500 of those so uh yeah and we will need to fill more loops before we can perform a reset so we can do it right now anyway so we gotta wait, let's collect more resources, that's why I told you you don't want to rush it too much. And do more upgrades right now, because whatever we do, we can't reset yet. That ship doesn't allow us to reset, reset straight away. So let's go, I'd rather collect for MK2 software upgrade here. Oh, maybe not, it's not that effective. Let's get this one instead. Uh, can we get something here? No, let's get... I wanna get more of those MK2 generators now, because we need those. Oh, and I want MK3 generators, it's so cheap! Only 100 million, so let's save up for that one. That will give us so many MK2 generators that will skyrocket our income, guys. So let's wait. And we don't need to wait much because we're already getting 12 million per tick. That's crazy good. So that's like about 2... About 2 million cells per second. That's nice. But the good thing about uh, that we got Zager is that we already start collecting those ticks to fill the loops. Before that, it wouldn't be the case. Same goes with the cells required. Before that, it wouldn't be the case. So only after getting this ship, bam, 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 we start collecting the required stuff for, for the loop. So yeah, there we go, we're getting MK3 generator and now on every tick we will get extra MK2 generator which costs 1 billion cells guys, oh my god, look at that, our income should start skyrocketing right now, look at that. So we will start growing way faster because we'll be getting way more MK2 generators, look at that, that's crazy, and that will allow us to get even more MK1 generators 
per tick, so our income should be going way faster right now. Let's collect those. Can we get another one of those and keep three ones? Three billion? No, we can't. That's expensive. So we will need to invest a lot into this right now. So from this point in the game, your goal will be uh, maximizing your your gain of sales basically because uh, that's what you need to fill up the loops and uh, as you can see our sale requirement is going higher than the ticks requirement that's actually good because we will need to fill at least three loops before we can do the reset so uh, yeah let's wait and let's do any upgrades that we can over here we purchased another mk1 software upgrade now we're getting even higher bonuses per stuff that we purchased and we will get the hardware upgrade as well that will allow us to get not that much higher bonus but per level there we go still a good boost and we can spend some cells here for those upgrades that will also help us to increase our gain so yeah we don't need to save up any cells anymore because we don't really need them for anything the only purchase i would like to do is 3 billion one mk3 generator one and that's expensive although getting some more upgrades for mk1 generators will unlock additional uh, thing for our cradle ship and we will be able to get additional upgrade there so let's do that all right let's get those chests that will give us extra rewards and bam and bam there we go fleet is ready for the upgrade what do we want to get here uh 5% bonus to mk2 output for each crew member let's get it 55% extra uh, output of MK2 generator that means even faster growth of our income right here so that's that's good I was debating of buying MK2 upgrade for MK2 generators the software or hardware upgrade but they are pretty expensive and their gains aren't that crazy high so I decided to wait and save up resources to get the, another MK3 generator that will be more efficient for us also we got some some upgrade for the player level so let's see we got Oh, that's nice. We got one uh, LP token. What can we get? That's good. We can get another thing here. We can get mod points or sell bonus. Early on, I think it's more efficient to go for sell. But 3% of those. I don't know. Let's go for sells a little bit more. And maybe then we will go for some mod points right now. I think it's not efficient to do it at this point of the game. We also got some tokens here pretty good amount to be honest 140 so let's invest those properly mk3 boost let's go uh seven eight nine ten percent boost right here we got 100 tokens left and i want to get some of my uh token boost here mod points gain by one percent per level that's actually pretty good as well so those upgrades will help you long term that's a long uh, term investment for you and we are really close to getting that uh, another MK3 generator. That's actually unexpectedly fast. Alright, so I opened the mining chest and bam, we're ready. We're getting second MK3 generator. Now MK2 generator will grow with even faster and like everything will be faster here. Let's get more of those because that will give us the boost. And uh, now we can... Like, look at our income. It's 144 million per tick. We were only dreaming of those numbers when we just started going for that ship and it was like 10 minutes before this moment and yes once again this is with the purchase of no ads pack it gives you double uh, sell multiplier as well but for the free to play player it will still be good it will be fast enough maybe not that fast maybe it will take you maybe a day here i think i can do prestige in maybe mm, few hours for uh, the free to play guys to be maybe one day but take a look at that it's, it's working it's good as our income grows we did some upgrades here we are getting another cradle crew member and the income bam <laughs> so much higher and don't forget that now it also boosts the pr uh, production of mk2 generators so we're getting 3.5k mk1 generators per tick that's a lot 3,000, that's like 4% of what we have right now. That's that's really good gains here. And we are getting, our income is growing exponentially. I like that. Bam. One chest, 3 billion money straight away. Let's do another upgrade somewhere here. Tech modifiers, MK1 upgrades. Uh, let's get this one. So we'll get even more generators of MK3. So guys, yeah, just go like that and 
you will be in prestige in no time. I'll let you know if I need something else, if you need something else as you go, but so far it's going pretty smooth. And we also filled one of the loops already with the uh with the money and the second one will be filled really fast because we just need 42 billion so i think we will fill it even earlier than the actual tick loop so we will see let's keep growing our income because why the hell not so guys we have purchased some uh tech upgrades let's get another one let's get this one and we can upgrade our uh, tech ship again that's even better even higher bonus and that don't forget that this multiplier adds up to all stuff over here in the tech upgrades. So that will make all those tech upgrades even better. We're getting some achievements. Let's see what do they give us. We get the diamonds and uh, did we get another player level? Yes, we did. Let's get mod points this time. It's not that efficient, I think. Like mod points, 103%. That's not crazy efficient at this point in the game. But once again... It will add up over time. Uh, the good thing that we will still get more mods on the next batch. That's good. Uh, can we spend diamonds for this? We got extra packs here. This one is expensive. Uh, 87 diamonds. Let's spend them on this. MK3 gen boost. Seems legit. Uh, Alright. And we will get some tokens here. 24 tokens some more mod point boost let's see if it will work straight away yeah it works straight away so we're getting even more of those uh mp what's mp mod points every loop so seems legit seems good and look at that we are almost done with another loop of income here so that was very fast and we got 20 million 20 billion we can get another crew here so that will buff all our upgrades again and oh my god, this is so crazy, guys. I like how it grows here. So as soon as you get to this point in the game, your growth will be way faster. And we can upgrade this ship soon again. So nice. We just need six more generator upgrades, which is not that hard. And guys, I'm taking a look at the loop screen. And uh, we're getting the third loop of income ready already. But uh, we only got 180 ticks of the time loop. So... Bam, we are ready to prestige. That will give us 3.3 points. And uh, if you are in a hurry, you can do it right now. But uh, once again, I would advise you guys to play a little bit more to uh, get more resources. Because those upgrades will be expensive. Um, so with 3 points in the mod points, you can get this one. And 50% sell gain per tick. I don't know, it's good, but it's not crazy useful, so uh, we can get more, and it's going pretty fast, so I'll get more loops, the more loops you get per run, that's better, uh, up to the point when, when we will get stuck, because we can get this upgrade, for example, that will boost us drastically, and get some other upgrades here and there, so let's wait, let's not rush it too much, so we will get more upgrades here, our income will grow, our growth of income will grow as well, so should be good. Let's get some upgrades here, and bam, uh, we're getting 8 MK2 generators per tick now. Can you imagine? That's really good. My Another tip would be, before performing the loop, right now we're waiting for, uh, you know, more MP you might want to make sure that you get the level milestone. So for the early game, if you get 10 upgrades, 10 uh, learning points here, level points, you will get a really good buff here, so you don't want to miss it. So we will wait. There it is. We will wait for this. Let's get this one. So now those effects are multiplied, and that will give us quite a good boost by itself. And then we will wait for the loop to finish. I think I'll get the ticks one done and cells one done, and we will do the reset. It takes us about one and a half hour from the start of the video. So it's not that long, but the gains will be way better. So let's wait a little bit more. So guys, finally, it took us one and a half hours since we started recording this video. And we got enough loops right here. We actually finished one uh, tick loop and six cell loops. And we got 8.8 .8 MP. So let's uh, perform a loop. 
and see what we can get. When you perform in the loop, you're losing everything uh, f which you progressed. You will keep your diamonds, your upgrades in the diamond and the token tree. And basically, you will lose all those things. Generators, fleet and upgrades in the upgrade console. So, let's do the loop and see what do we get. Uh, boom. Click here. Charge uh, loop engine. One, two, three final spent modification points there we go so what will happen that's it not that much animation in i was expecting way more so now uh we can spend our eight points and let's see what do we get we can get this one uh we can get another one or reduce time to make for a tick to complete by zero ones uh, per level that's a that's nice but it's low at the same time Grant you access to the arcade, the mini games every once in a while to speed up time, inactive. Two uh, points, what do we have here? Grant you access to daily rewards. Let's get daily rewards, that should be nice. Um, 10% increase to MK1 generators, not that crazy. What do we have here? MK4 generator it costs four quintillion and it costs 50 loop points so we gotta work on that one soon um i like this time deletion though so we got enough points what do we have here 75 uh, this is higher tier one let's get more upgrades over here that would be good uh let's get we can get all of those we can get this one arcade uh, a bit later and we can get this one so our ticks now take less time uh, that's it that's all we have so as I said guys it was a good idea to save up before going for the loop because as you can guess we didn't get really crazy upgrades here oh my god that's a high tier stuff right here uh, yeah, those upgrades, they will help us. But right now, our first reset won't help us that much. Let's upgrade the ship, construct the ship. Get the upgrades here, all that. Bam, next ship. Bam, can we? No, we can't. Uh, let's get even more of those things. Let's get even more upgrades here. So, the start is way faster right now than it was before. Let's get more crew members. Good. And yeah, basically from here, let's go check out the arcade. From here, you do the same stuff over and over uh, in order to get stronger, guys. And we will give you more guides later on when there will be some more. Cube Boy Snack. Uh, goes to collect as many cells as possible before time runs out. Every cell collected will around you score point, avoid the obstacles. What will it do? Let's start the game. So, ah, it's a snake, basically. Okay. Ah, uh, controls aren't that good. Ooh. All right. So you gotta be really timely with your clicks. Oh, wow, that was horrible. And we have limited amount of time for this, I guess. Yeah, that teleported booms right on your face were bad. The controls are bad. It's it's not that good. It's it's tiny. Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, yeah, you can do it like that. Oh, you can, but it's hard. All right, that one is spinning. I can't rotate. Oh my god, I I am done. I'm done. I think. Run out of time. Great job, and uh, that gave us five free ticks. All right, so. It's not crazy impressive, but still it's something. So why the hell not? Let's get more of those. That will give us... That's a lot of resources straight away. Uh, we can get this ship. We can get upgrades. I want to work on... Like early on when you do the reset, you want to work on MK2 generators to produce more stuff. You know, to increase income. We told about that already, so... Yeah, so I don't know how long this video will be because it took me one and a half hour to record, but uh, that's the basic thing that you want to do on your first day. For me, it took 
two hours to get prestige with that amount of uh, mod points for free to play guys who don't buy the pack no end pack it might take a day or so but overall that will help you both free to play and pay to win guys to get the most of your first day's progression and after that you just rinse and repeat and we will make more guides on this game later on that will explain more complex mechanics and growth and progression so yeah let me know what you think about this video down below in the comments while you go in there don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel and make sure to uh, check the video description for more links we have the playlist for uh, this game there later when it will be available more videos over there uh link to with my other youtube channels discord and social media useful stuff as well and uh, yeah that's about it guys thank you very much for watching like subscribe follow all that stuff and uh see you in the next one stan kosh out have a good one bye